it seems that you probably think differently about a lot of these like cultural fights, these political fights, because you've got this bigger context informing you. For sure. And, and that was a big part for me with, you know, everything that was going on with George Floyd and just everything that has happened in our in our world to date, where it was like you have this this terrible, tragic thing that happened. And my first response is, OK, I, obviously I was angry, I'm upset, but I'm like, OK, what is the right way for me to respond in this moment um, that I think could bring about the, the most change? And so I, I was taking a step back and say, OK, I don't want to respond as, as Jonathan Isaac, the African-American. I don't want to respond as Jonathan Isaac this. I want to respond as Jonathan Isaac, the Christian, and how that is, you know, changed and evolved my life, and um, I, I want to respond that way. And so that that's how a lot of that came about. So if, even as, as as everything is happening in our world today, I try my best to stay in that frame of mind and yeah. remembering that it's a spiritual battle over a physical one, um, and and just trying my best to love people and, but at the same time, stand for what I believe in. So can you catch us up on the on the specifics here? Just give us the the brief version of this. You've got the book. The book cover features the kind of the iconic image of you standing at an NBA game uh, when all of your other teammates in the Orlando Magic are wearing black shirts that say Black Lives Matter and they're all taking a knee. This is in the wake of the death of George Floyd. You feature it again on the cover of your book. Just take us back to that. What was the thinking and, and what motivated you to do that? Yeah, so um, so to go back to exactly what just happened there when I was talking about trying to take a step back and figure out what was the best way to, uh, to kind of not attack the moment, but rationalize the moment for myself. Right. Um, and it, it was just such an emotional time and everyone was in a frenzy on, 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 on both sides about who's right, who's wrong, um, uh, the, the police officer, George Floyd, all these different things. Uh, and then obviously it turned into this entire political debate. Um, and, and what I felt in the moment where it, Black Lives Matter and the Black Lives Organization, the only way to support Black Lives in this time was to kind of pledge your allegiance to this movement. Um, and, and the organization by supporting BLM, putting the squares on Instagram, all these different things of like, th this, is, this is the only way to support Black Lives in this moment. Um, and, and then we get to the NBA bubble and, and there is this immense pressure on the players to say, because this one team kneeled already, we don't have a choice. This is the only way that, um, you know, we can go about this. And, you know, e even having the conversation with our teammates. So we, we detailed in the book, we had this conversation where, the president of the team, you know, they bring us all in and they're like, look, you know, this team already knelt. Um, we want you guys to be supported in whatever you decide to do. And they leave the room and it's just the players. And all the players are like, no, we don't, we don't have a choice. This, this is what this is what we have to do. And one of my teammates turned towards me and is like, well, Jonathan, what are you gonna do? And I'm like, why are you asking, why, why are you asking me? Why are you singling me out? But uh, but I said, I said, I said, fellas, um, I'm I'm not gonna kneel and I'm I'm not gonna wear that t-shirt. Um, and for me, my thinking was that I, I didn't want to go along with anybody's narrative. I didn't want to jump into a, a fight. I, I wanted to see things clearly for myself. And as I looked at my life, um, I was able to say, man, I know that the gospel um, has been the thing that has changed my life. It's changed my heart. And I know that racism and all the things that plague our society are heart issues. And I don't see them as being able to be healed by an organization, by a movement, by a political party, by a president, um, that they're healed by the gospel and helping us to see each other the right way um, and, and, and be able to overcome the sins that we've done to each other. And so I just try my best to, to, to stand up and to share that message of we all fall short of God's glory. And anytime that we're throwing stones, we're throwing stones from a glass house. And so not about, you know, picking one side or saying that one side is right or wrong, but rationalizing that we've all fallen short and, and I want to treat people the way that I want to be treated.